I'm here with uh, Dave Kirby from the DTCC and uh, Tara Taylor from our FX sales and trading team here at State Street. And uh, we're here to discuss um, the impacts to clients um, in our preparation for the conversion to T plus one upcoming um, in 2024. Uh, one of the things we wanted to discuss was our connectivity to, to DTC and and how that how that interaction is um, is great for the for, for for the conversion going forward. So with the uh, T plus one uh, uh, conversion coming up, um, we know that a lot of the efforts will be uh, focused on the affirmation process within the trade life cycle, and. Uh, at, as, as you know, there's, you know, the connectivity between us and DTCC is, is through the DTC products such as CTM, Trade Suite, and M2I. What we'd like to know is, is, is really how that would um, impact funding from a client perspective and how they're, they're going to fund trades in the new accelerated settlement cycle. Yeah, thanks, Jim, and thanks for having me here. Um, the first thing I would say is the partnership between the DTCC and State Street actually goes, you know, a little broader than just the technical components sure. that we're talking about. Events like this, just raising awareness on T1, are as critical as sort of the technical touch points we have. Um, I'd say the, the initiatives that you mentioned from. Um, the affirmation process to M2I to um, even alert and how you're working with GC Direct all work together for a single goal, and that's to go to STP and get trades into the life cycle that much sooner. So if we think about how we're compressing time globally, and it's not just here in the U.S., but we're compressing time globally by firms instituting programs like you've discussed, what we're allowing is, you know, Tara and team to see where they need to f execute FX earlier in the day and by getting certain certainty into sort of the inventory that you have on hand. So I think everything you mentioned is spot on and a lot of it starts with education, others, and then it starts with execution. And I think partnerships like this are, are fantastic in that effort. Great, great. And, and so Tara, um, from a funding perspective, where do you see like positioning um, the, the DTC technology in, in uh, client funding going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Great to be here. Thank you, Jim. Um, what I would say first and foremost, and, and just to echo what Dave said, STP is, is definitely going to be key to this initiative. And one of the things we're asking our clients to do is really start to look at their workflow, their funding workflow in conjunction with the security or the equity workflow. And the reason for that is it's so important to align those because today clients may have um, a manual process or they may have um, a difference in how they're executing from a time perspective. So we're reaching out to all of our clients right now to have those conversations. So we're asking them to look at in their workflow at things such as um, how are you executing? Is it manual? Is it automated? Where are you executing? Is it a centrally located location? Uh, you know, all in the US, all in EMEA, all in Hong Kong. Um, and not that any one way is right or wrong. We're just asking people to look at that so they can start to put their workflow together to mirror their funding needs with the new accelerated uh, settlement timeframe. Um, and we have a variety of ways that we, when we have these conversations with clients, um, different solutions that we offer. Um, one of them being, um, if you're custody here at State Street, we have a very low touch process. It's our, what we call our indirect foreign exchange products. Basically, when they sign up for these services, um, as soon as they send their trade to custody, those orders will come to my desk uh, or the, the global desks and we'll execute it for them. And we kind of take care of everything for them. So it's a nice, easy, automated service. Right, right, um, yep. Um, if they're not automated or if they are looking for something a little more holistic where they have funds custodied at State Street and custodied at other places, we have a product called StreetFX and that's an automated benchmark pricing service. And the great thing about that is you, it's custodian agnostic. You can use it with any bank. Um, and we have integration points and we can integrate with their trade systems. We can integrate with matching services like DTCC. Um, we can integrate with their middle office. So it's very flexible and we think that's really going to be a nice automated service and solution for our clients. Tara, I love what you said about multiple points of connectivity and how you're opening up to multiple channels because I think that's a key part of T plus one as an initiative to have the entire market look at other options to advance their efficiency, whether it's F 
facts or affirmation or otherwise. I think it's a fantastic point and great work by you and your team to open up those other channels. Great. Well, thanks so much, uh, both of you, for joining me today. Appreciate the time and effort and uh, look, looking forward to speaking to you again on this very important topic of T plus one and accelerated settlement. Thanks, thanks Jim. Jim.